Martinborough is nestled at the south end of the Wairapa Valley. It's a real close-knit community. We all have kids going to the same school. We all go to the same pub to drink. Most of the vineyards are planted on the northern side of town, and that's where the Martinborough Terrace is. And that terrace stretches west to east, only about four or five kilometres. It's where our home block vineyard is, where the oldest vines are, and where I think the best vineyard land in Martinborough certainly is. As our wineries mature, we're starting to really understand the sense of what Martinborough is all about. I think there's a similar mindset to Burgundy that you get a sense of how small an area it is and how focused it is on its own individual terroir. The home block's where it all began for us back in 1980. I'm very lucky as a winemaker to have some of the oldest vines, not only in Martinborough but also in New Zealand. We're just starting to get into some real vine age, vines that are at least 30 years old. Those older vines have got a massive root network to them. They're so deep into the soil that they are self-sustaining. Almost everything we do in the winery is done by hand. Our philosophy is very much hands-off winemaking but ironically enough to do that, we get our hands very dirty. You've got to have confidence in what you do. The hard work's been done. My philosophy's certainly been based around getting it right in the vineyard. Incredible legacy that has been built over 40 years. Oh, I feel very privileged. And I really see my role as being the caretaker of the wines and everything that is Martin Brew Vineyard. I certainly wouldn't give it up for anything. I'm Paul Mason, winemaker at Martin Brew Vineyard. <laughs>